Sigtrinus specifications for a family of protocols that provide reliable datagram service and user layer adaptations for SS7 and ISDN communications protocols. The Sigtrin protocols are an extension of the SS7 protocol family. After the completion of the module, you will be able to Describe SS7 over IP requirements and fitment of Sigtrin in it. Discuss evolution of Sigtrin. Understand Sigtrin protocol suite and its basic operation. Traditional SS7 network, SS7 over TDM is reliable and secure. This is achieved by introducing redundancy in the network so that there is no single point of failure and by creating a fault-tolerant network. SS7 networks create dedicated circuits for the duration of the call regardless of the usage. This ensures resources are reserved and always available. In legacy SS7 networks, the link between various SS7 nodes like SSP and STP are expensive TDM links. The intent for movement towards IP links is cost saving and easy scalability, as TDM based infrastructure is expensive and difficult to deploy. To introduce IP connectivity, the SS7 nodes also need to be upgraded to support IP based communication. Hence the introduction of IP-based STP, SCP etc. While cost optimization is one of the biggest advantage of migrating to IP-based communication, SS7 over IP has some security, quality and reliability requirements to be ensured. Sigtrin fulfills these requirements and provides a framework to support all SS7 functionalities over IP. SS7 signaling and voice communication requires adequate quality of service to be ensured as it is time critical and delay sensitive in nature. For this, enough bandwidth is to be ensured. Public internet is not recommended for SS7 over IP due to security issues. VPN or firewall solutions need to be deployed for ensuring security. But how to ensure reliability in transport as IP communication is connectionless and best effort in nature? The solution developed by Sigtrin Forum is a reliable transport protocol called Stream Control Transmission Protocol, SCTP. We will discuss more about it in later slides. Here we present various advantages of SS7 over IP transport that is Sigtrin. IP offers an economical solution to challenges created by high volume traffic at network edge. Operators offload voice calls from PSTN to VoIP networks because it is less costly to carry voice traffic over IP network than over switched circuit network. In VoIP network, digitized voice data is highly compressed and carried in packets over IP network, thereby efficiently utilizing the bandwidth and increasing the number of voice calls carried. Saving realized in using VoIP network are passed on to users in the form of lower cost. Now we will discuss about the introduction and phase-wise evolution of Sigtrin in legacy SS7 networks. Phase 1 of Sigtrin is, replacing the costly SS7 TDM links with IP, and introducing signaling and voice gateways for necessary conversion. In the first phase, the Sigtrin protocol M2UA over SCTP and IP was deployed. The approach was cost saving. Phase 2 of Sigtrin is introducing IP based STP in the network, 
and thereby reducing the port allocation, reservation, and usage of legacy STPs. This again is another step towards cost saving on TTM links. In IP based STPs, the Sigtron protocol deployed is M2PA. Phase 3 of Sigtron is introducing IP based applications to handle SS7 messages and to interact with IP based STPs. Example of such applications are application servers to handle call and subscription related messages, SMSCs for handling text based messages, etc. Such IP based applications ensure direct communication and removes the requirement of gateways to do the protocol conversions. Phase 4 of Sigtron is introducing Sigtron protocol support in traditional switch which are SSPs or MSCs. SCPs are also converted to BIP based. The protocols now deployed were M3UA and SUA. This ensures all the nodes in SS7 network can now directly communicate over IP. Also, any new deployment of SS7 network can now be less complex, less costly and easily scalable. Phase 5 of Sigtron is Integration of IP telephony with legacy SS7 networks. Soft switches convert the SS7 messages received over Sigtron to void protocol messages and vice versa. This completes the integrated IP architecture where Sigtron provides IP support in SS7 networks and voice over IP protocols controls the IP telephony network. Now in the final section we will discuss about the Sigtron Protocol Suite and its usage. Sigtron Protocol Stack comprises of three components. The Standard Internet Protocol, IP. A Common Signaling Transport Protocol, SCTP, and. An Adaptation Module to Emulate Lower Layers of SS7 Protocol, and encapsulate the signaling of upper layer in SCTP. The various adaptation layers are M2UA, M2PA to emulate the MTP2 functionality, M3UA for emulating MTP3 functionality, and SUA for emulating the SCCP layer functionality. Here, PA stands for peer adaptation, and UA stands for user adaptation. SCTP allows the reliable transfer of signaling messages between signaling endpoints in an IP network. It allows signaling messages to be independently ordered within multiple streams, to ensure in sequence delivery between associated endpoints. Other functions of SCTP include Association Startup and Teardown Management User Data Fragmentation and Reassembly Control and Data Chunk Acknowledgement Congestion Avoidance Chunk Bundling which is carrying more than one control and data chunks within a single association Packet Validation and Path Management etc. Sigtron recommends SCTP rather than TCP IP for transmission of signaling messages over IP networks. As TCP IP has issues like head of line blocking and SYN flooding attack because of three way handshake during connection setup, which are taken care by SCTP. Sigtron user adaptation layers emulates lower layers of SS7 protocol and encapsulate the signaling of upper layer users in SCTP. Communication happens using switched circuit network SCN signaling protocol delivery over an IP network. This includes components like signaling gateway SG, IP signaling point IPSP and a media gateway controller, 
MGC. The message transfer takes place between Signaling Gateway, SG, and Media Gateway Controller, MGC. Signaling Gateway, SG, and an IP signaling point, IPSP. And between an IPSP and an IPSP. The M2PA protocol supports the transport of MTP3 signaling messages over IP using the services of SCTP. M2PA is full adaptation of peer-to-peer -peer communication of MTP2 layer functionality. M2UA is used for backhauling of SS7 MTP2 user signaling messages over IP using SCTP. This protocol is used for communication between a signaling gateway, SG, and media gateway controller, MGC. It is assumed that the SG receives SS7 signaling over a standard SS7 interface using MTP to provide transport. The SG acts as a signaling link terminal. M3UA supports the transport of any SS7 MTP3 user signaling, such as ISUP and SCCP messages, over IP, using the services of the SCTP. The protocol is used for communication between a signaling gateway, SG, and a media gateway controller. MGC, or IP Resident Database. The Signaling Connection Control Part User Adaptation Layer, SUA, protocol details the delivery of SCCP user messages, MAP and CAP over TCAP, RANAP, etc. and new third generation network protocol messages over IP between two signaling endpoints. Consideration is given for the transport from an SS7 signaling gateway, SG, to an IP signaling node, such as an IP resident database. This protocol can also support transport of SCCP user messages between two endpoints wholly contained within an IP network. In the figure, various usage of SIGTRAN protocol are listed. SUA is used where interaction is required with IP-based databases or other SCP elements. Interaction with SCP require TCAP over SCCP functionality. Therefore in such interactions, complete MTP processing can be bypassed. The adaptation layer SUA will provide SCCP handling. M2PA is used when interaction is required, between two STPs or between STP and signaling gateway or SSP. M2UA can be used in similar scenarios, but not prevalently used, as M2PA provides complete MTP2 functionality and there is no requirement of backhauling of messages at MTP2 level. M3UA is used when an interaction is required between SSPs and signaling gateways for call-related handling. Here M3UA is preferred over M2PA, as it saves one layer processing, which is MTP2. Let's summarize. Signaling Transport, SIGTRAN refers to a protocol stack for the transport of switched circuit network, SCN, signaling protocols SS7 over an IP network. SIGTRAN is the evolution of SS7, which defines adapters and a core transport capabilities that blend SS7 and packet protocols to provide users with the best both technologies have to offer. SIGTRAN protocol stack comprises of three components. The standard Internet protocol, IP, a common signaling transport protocol, SCTP, 
and an adaptation module to emulate lower layers of SS7 protocol and encapsulate the signaling of upper layer in SCTP. For interworking with SS7 controlled SCN networks, the SG terminates the SS7 link and transfers the signaling information to the MGC using signaling transport. For interworking with PSTN, IP networks will need to transport signaling such as Q931 or SS7 ISUP messages between IP nodes such as a signaling gateway in Media Gateway Controller. This completes the module. Click Next Topic from Navigation Menu.